Hey guys, Yuvraj here from the Brainstorm Force team. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a copy of your own WordPress website, or in other words, create a staging version of your website. Now, a staging version of a website has many advantages. You can install plugins on your website, you can make custom design changes to your website, even add some custom functionality or change some code of your website without the risk of breaking it. Now, of course, you can make these changes on a local website as well by using a local server like XAM, WAMP or others, but you lose a critical advantage in doing so. If you run into issues and you're looking to get support from a team, you can't give them access to your website if it's on your local computer. For that, you'll need to have a copy of your website on a live server so that the support team can actually access it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm inside my WordPress admin area and please note the URL of the website is brainstormforce.xyz. I'm going into the plugins menu. I'll go to add new and I'm gonna search for a plugin called WP Staging. This is the plugin I was talking about, WP Staging. Just install the plugin, activate it. Once the plugin is activated, you'll see a notice to upgrade to WP Staging Pro, but for the scope of this video or what we are trying to achieve in this video, you don't need the Pro version. So you can skip and start cloning. When you skip uh, the previous screen, you're directly taken to the actual cloning process or how you can start the clone process. But let me show you the settings of the plugin first by going into settings. And here are the settings of the plugin. And there are plenty of settings. And uh, most of the time, I would say, uh, you don't need to change any of these settings unless uh, the plugin process or the cloning process actually fails. You don't need to touch any of these settings. I just wanted to show you that the setting exists and for power users or for people who understand these settings, you can definitely change these settings. But for most people, you don't need to change any of these settings. So let's go back to the sites or start section here and start the cloning process. So the cloning process is quite simple. Just click the create new staging site. And here you have to enter a name or give this staging site a name. Let's say I'm uh, creating a staging site just for support. So I can say support site. And inside the settings here, you can change the database tables that are copied and also the files that are copied to the new cloning site. Now for most people who are trying to create an exact copy of your website, you don't need to change any of these. Uh, that will defeat the purpose of having an exact copy of your staging site. So don't change any of these settings if you're trying to get support or even creating a complete copy of your actual live website. And once you've done this, you have entered the name of the support site here and just click start cloning and the process will begin. So this is how the uh, cloning process will look like. Now this may take some time, obviously, and depending on the size of your website, this might take more time. So the bigger the website, most probably the time taken to clone the website will be a little higher. So during the process, uh, do not uh, navigate away from the page or even close the window, otherwise the cloning process may stop. So I'll pause the video now and I'll resume the video when the cloning process is actually complete. So the cloning process is now complete and you can see the actual time it took to complete the cloning process. And obviously it will depend on the size of your website. Don't think that this is the time that will take for your website. And now you can access your website using the URL right here and also click this button. And do remember that the admin credentials or the way to log into your website, uh, you'll need to use the same credentials that you have on your main website. So let's open up the website and log in with our credentials. I'll open this in a new window or a new tab. And as you can see, this is the login form that I'll be presented with. And obviously it looks a little bit different from the regular WordPress login because it's created by WP Staging. And I'll just add my credentials or type in my credentials that I use for my main website. Login. And now I'm accessing and also logged into the staging version of my website. The orange bar is a notification or an indication that I'm in the staging version of my website. And I, I can also log into the back end of the website, but let me first show you my original website by going into this tab and opening up my actual website. And as you can see, it's the same exact website, top to bottom. And let's start to log into both websites again at the same time. And I can go into the dashboard right here and also dashboard right here. And as you can see, the dashboard also looks very familiar. It's almost exactly the same. Just switching between both of them to show you how it looks the same. Just the important difference to note is that the orange admin bar just notifies or indicates that you are in the staging version of your website. And now you're free to make any changes to this without affecting your main website. You can install plugins, make any design changes, or give access to the support team. Now, two important things to remember are that if you want your changes from this staging website to copy over to your live website, 
automatically, then you'll need the pro version of this plugin. And if you don't want to pay for the pro version, what you have to do is make sure that the changes that you make here, you also have to replicate them inside your main website so that the changes are actually reflected here. And if you created this website to give access to a support team, then I would recommend that you create a new user by going into the users menu and create a new admin user because the uh, admin credentials of your staging website and your main website are the same. So it's just a good practice to create a different admin or change the password of your current admin user before giving it to the support staff. This way you will have peace of mind that your username and password are not compromised in any manner. And that's it for this video guys. If you like this kind of content, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. Also subscribe to Brainstorm Forces YouTube channel because we create amazing videos just like this one for you guys. My name is Yuvraj and you're watching Brainstorm Forces YouTube channel. I'll see you again in the next video. Till then, take care.